Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about the test data generation using one of the very important module in Python, which is Faker package. So that is available in Python. So Faker package will generate you any sort of test data or the fake data that you will need in your testing most of the time. So it doesn't matter you are testing or you're developing. Test data is very much required. It doesn't matter which profile you are into software development development and creating huge amount of test data manually is a big big task so faker is the module in python you can use and with this module you can generate thousands and thousands of records in just seconds and use them into your testing so let's quickly understand how you can start using faker so the first thing is we have to basically install this module so let's go to google and just search for python faker so we'll read a little bit of documentation. So here, if you go to the faker documentation, so you can see that it is the package that generates fake data for us. Now quickly, let's see how we can basically install. So if you go to basic usage on this particular page, it's basically possible to install using pip. So we'll just say pip install faker. So what you need to do is you'll just need to copy that and open the command prompt on your machine and just paste the command. So pip install faker. Okay. Hit enter and it should install faker in just few seconds. So you can see it has successfully installed the faker version. It has provided me all the details. So if you haven't installed Python and pip, so please make sure you follow my previous tutorials. So to ensure that you have Python and pip installed on your machine before you can install faker. So if you want to see that it has successfully installed, you just say pip list and it will give you the list of all packages that are available there so you can see faker is available on my machine now all right so once the faker has been installed we'll go back here and now you can see that this is the very huge documentation the very basic usage of faker is basically we just need to import the faker class here right so we just import the module and then we simply create an object of faker and we call the method so there are so many different options you can create the fake names fake address fake email there is so many possibilities if you come down here you can see that the standard providers here you have the address the automotive so bank related or the barcode related then you have the person related phone number profiles so profile will cover your email uh, the person's name address all of that particular data will be provided all at once so this is very very important package and i would highly recommend that you basically go ahead and start using it because it is very simple to use now we have installed faker let's quickly understand how we can use it right so you can go through this documentation it's a huge documentation you won't be able to grasp everything at once but once i cover this particular tutorial you will be having a fair bit of idea about faker and how to use it and how to refer to this documentation right so let's go to pycharm and here i have created a module test data generation let me create a new file so i'll say test data demo all right so now because we have installed faker so we need to import the packet so we can say from faker i'll say import faker so make sure it's f is capital here right and then we just need to say we'll say we want to create the fake data so we can say fake data so create a variable and then just create the so this this will invoke create the object of this particular class and then we can invoke the methods with this particular variable fake data so if i say fake underscore data dot name right and now this method will print me if i say print it will print me a fake name on my console so that's pretty much it that you have to do right so there is something okay so here the problem is the spelling so now it's fine so fake data dot name so if i run this it should print me a fake name on my console right so it has printed alexander johnson if i run again it will print some other name right so this is how it will create the name let's say we want to create the email simply we'll change it to from name to say email 
right then we can change it to address so say for example we are looking for the address of the person right so let's say we want name email and address you will see that it has printed name a fake email and a fake address right and now we can use this data perfectly fine in our testing records now this is just one record right and in testing you might not be just needing one record you might be needing thousands of records especially if you are working in the banking domain or uh, any complex system which requires huge amount of data then you need to create the data and that data you might need to put it in the excel sheet rather than printing on the console that's how the actual usage will be so instead of doing this let me comment out let's see how you can basically create the data and put it into the excel sheet uh, for the future reference okay so now we have already seen about how you can write data into the excel sheet so there is a openpy excel module which i have covered in the previous tutorial if you haven't watched please go through and watch it and then just import openpy excel so we'll say openpy excel is the package we want to import workbook right so we can write the data into our workbook right so now we'll create a workbook so we'll say workbook we'll create a workbook object and then we'll go to worksheet and we'll say workbook dot active so this will select the active worksheet that will be created with this particular in the in this particular workbook object that is stored in this wb reference variable so now we want to whatever fake data we are going to generate we want to put this into this particular workbook right so what we'll do is we'll simply so let's say we do a for loop okay so we'll say just for loop and we'll say for i in range say for example i want to generate 10 data okay so if i want to print the records on my screen okay so for i'll say for i in range 10 i will simply say print as i used to do so i'll say fake data dot name so now this will print the fake data on my console right the name on my console 10 names have been printed on my console now we want to put this data into the excel sheet so what we'll do is simply we'll say instead of printing on a console we will push this data into the workbook right so to put that we'll say ws dot so we have created the worksheet already right so worksheet object so we'll say worksheet dot cell and then in the cell we'll specify the row right so row is through the i so we are saying i is the row so we we need to change here as well so we'll simply say 1 comma 10 and we know that in the range basically whatever value you specify here it's one less than that particular value so if you if we want 10 records we need to make sure that this is 11 because the range is starting from one so we'll simply say now in the cell the row so we'll say row is equal to i and then column so we want everything in one column so we'll simply say column is equal to one right and then we'll say dot value and we want to specify the value a fake name right so we'll simply say or we'll just remove here and we'll say fake name fake data dot name all right so now this particular statement will put the fake name or fake data that we are creating the name data into the rows into the cells right and then the last step is basically to save the workbook right so we'll simply say wb dot save and specify the sheet right so here say for example test data dot xlsx right so we'll say test data dot xlsx let me remove this okay so now if i run this let's see so it has finished and a test data dot excel has been created let's open this and you'll see 10 records have been printed in this sheet right now many times we won't just be needing the name we'll be needing email we will need, we'll be needing address and we want to put this into different columns here so that is also very very simple say for example we want to put the name email and address all those sort of things so what we'll do is we'll simply do two loops so instead of one loop we'll say for so one loop will be for the row and second loop will be iterating through the column and the number of columns uh, it, it doesn't matter how many values we want into the rows or the column then we'll be able to cover that so we'll say for j in range and for the column we'll say say for example we want three columns so we, we want name we want uh, email and we want address so we'll say starting from one and then 
ending at 4 because the column will start from 1, it will cover 2 and then 3. It will be le 1 less than the value that you specify here. Okay. And then here this particular cell will put the name into the column 1. Okay. Then we'll simply say, say for example in column 2, we want to specify the email. We just change this to column 2 and here in the fake data, we'll say email and then in the third column we'll have another statement and we'll say column three and here let's store the address right and that's pretty much it so now there will be three columns present in this test data.excel file and first column will have the name second one will have email and third one will have the address okay let's run this so it has finished. Let's open this Excel file and here it is. It is. So you can see that now we have the name, email, fake email and fake address, which we can easily use into our testing, right? So it's that quick basically. So this is the only amount of code that you have to write to generate the fake data. Now, if you want to make it more in terms of utility, you can basically use the concepts that I have explained in Python programming to extend this, make it a comprehensive utility and you can share it in your project. And that will give you an edge over the other people into the team who are basically, uh, who, who don't know the concept or, uh, who do things manually, right? So you can explain them and you can be sort of a uh, leader in, in terms of automating the stuff that can be easily automated and will save a lot of time, right? So this is very, very good thing to go ahead and keep learning and finding the ways that you can use to expedite your work into the actual project. Now, before I close this session, I would also like to mention about the locales, right? So here, instead of just English names or any other language name, there are so many lo locales provided here. Say, for example, you want to generate a name in, you know, Japanese or in Hindi, there are locales available. And how we can use it, we simply need to copy the locale. Say, for example, Hindi, and I want to generate Hindi names, then, or Hindi address, then I'll simply copy the locale, and you will see the example here at the top somewhere. So let me scroll a little bit up. So here you will see, you just need to provide the locale. So you can provide a single locale or you can provide the multiple locales as well. Okay. So how we can do it. So say, for example, when we are creating the object, we can say if we are providing a multiple locale, we'll say comma separated. So square brackets and then comma separated locales. So for English, it is en underscore us. And now we want to generate the fake name and addresses. So let's run this again and see how this will be handled. Okay, so we should be getting Hindi and English names mix of that particular data. So it has run. Let's open the file and here you go, right? So now you can see that we have a mix of English and Hindi names available into our test data and we can use it, right? So you can create a mix of test data with different locales, different languages, or you can have single language here. So say for example, I just want to generate Hindi data. We'll simply remove all of it. And in the quotes, just provide the locale as the Hindi locale and run it. And now this will create only the Hindi data and not the mixed data. Okay. So here you can see all the names are Hindi emails will be by default. So and then you can see the addresses as well, right? So this is that important utility or the module, I would say, please go through it. I have covered all the required details of this faker library or the package. Now you can go through the documentation and as per your requirement, if you scroll down, say, for example, you are looking for credit card data or the currency data or date time. So you can use all these standard providers. If you're looking for localized data, then you can use the locales I have, as I have explained, and then use this faker package to basically generate the test data and use it in your testing. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and clear. Thank you very much for watching.